Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for ID People. I'm here at Wise Media's sixth EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi and I'm joined by Gabriel Malberg. Gabriel from Setwin. Yes. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Just start by briefly introducing the, the product. I know a lot of our readers and viewers are aware of the product and, and let me know where you are in the in the development process of the of the marketing of that. Mm -hmm. Well, it all started in fact in the mid 60s uh, when uh, in Sweden we had big problems with check fraud, you know, physical yeah. check. So in fact, in the mid 60s, the police told uh, authorities that if we can't fix this with the check problems, we have to sc scrap checks, scrap the checks, <laughs> skip the checks. So. Um, they started an investigation. How, how can we make this more uh, identify person mm. with a check? So um, they started a company. The post in Sweden, together with the banks, started a com company called in Swedish ABID Kort. And they developed a very, very secure ID card in the late 60s. Okay. Yeah. So from there until now, um, Slowly, we have uh, like export this kind of system to first to the Middle East. Mm -hmm. In fact, so our first customer was from eight, 1983. Was my father who went uh, met um, Mr. Sheikh Mohammed okay. from Bahrain, okay. general director for the for the uh, MR, uh, identity yeah. uh, ministry. So we started there, and then uh, 1984, I think he was there, and I got a phone call from a friend, uh, f from Sheikh Mohammed friend in Kuwait. Okay. And, uh, and they said, this is a very good product. Mm. And so my father, I, I can pass Kuwait and back home. So we went to Kuwait, and after maybe two years, they also had the same system in Kuwait. Right. Okay, so you started with so this is the, the ID, card. ID card. Yeah, secure ID card started with, you yeah. can say. And from there, we have developed more secure. We made a, a software for production of ID cards. Mm -hmm. In that time, they had the paper-based card, right? In secure to paper. So we developed lamin automatic laminators. Yeah. We developed these machines. The vending. Have, yeah. The vending machines. They had an enormous problem with the uh, delivery of the cards. As you know, it's very difficult with addresses mm. here in the yeah. region. So they have to, to come and pick the card up at the authority. And uh, the problem was that uh, they had to queue for that, maybe 500 meters queue. Wow. And they had the wooden boxes with, uh, with the, the ID cards, cards in, in. Yeah. the cards in. So if you put one card wrong, it's gone. So they asked us, can you help us? To, to develop a system that can make this more automatic. Mm. So we developed our fast card machine, as we call it. So we introduced the queues to nothing. So they pick up us two, three minutes for each ID card. Okay. So, so it's a long story, but... Yeah, uh, it's but no, <laughs> it's an interesting story. And interesting that through the connection with your father, yeah. uh, a, a Scandinavian company should end mm. up a supplier with your key market yeah. in the Middle East. Exactly. Well, my father, he was the one who, who started the, um, uh, uh, what to say, bank card system mm. in Sweden. He took it from the USA okay. and moved it to Sweden. Yeah. Said, uh, so he, from the beginning, he produced uh, like bank cards, petrol cards, okay. etc. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. So it developed. So, so uh, then he started working on, on this company. Yeah. Okay. And, and then and it moved more and more to ID cards yeah. after that. And now you've got you've got systems deployed in Kuwait. You've got the systems dis deployed elsewhere in the in the Middle East. What about outside the Middle East? Is is there a market developing? Uh, yeah, that, because or is that yeah, yes. I mean, more and more countries want to have mm. identity of the people. Yeah. Like both in Africa and Asia, and and and, and, and um, I mean, for example, if, if you have a. a Population registration, you know who is who. Yeah. The farmer in, in the country in Asia or Africa, they can go to the bank and show, yeah. this is I me and I own this property and yeah. I want to borrow money on this property. Yeah. And that's much easier for everyone that yeah. both, both the banks and authorities and the yeah. 
local guy that he can borrow money and that start economic yeah. running. Yeah. Well, it's an essential part of uh, economic growth. Yeah. Inward investment, all those things happen yes. when there are mm. when the when there's a government that has yeah. those kind of yeah. systems in place. I guess so. It becomes it becomes a, con a conduit for that. And and what kind of what kind of growth are you experiencing is the products growing in terms of demand? We, we see enormous interest of this now. Uh, since many countries start to, to make ID system mm. for, for, for the country. But of course, we're coming in the end. First, you have to make, make a popular registration. Yeah. It takes a long yeah. time. Yeah. And then you're supposed to start maybe car production. Yeah. And then we come in to, to, yeah. uh, to deliver so, the cards. So you've got to meet those clients at the right time in the yeah. project cycle yeah. to, to, to Almost. get that right. Because at first, they have a mind to just start to, to make everything mm. else. And this is the last. Mm, how shall we deliver the cars? We don't yeah. have an addresses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. So, so, so many countries they they send it to a police local police station where you can pick okay. it up, or, yeah. or or a local um, election office, yeah. like that. And on these machines, they can they can put these vending machines wherever they want. And on these machines, you actually identify the person yeah. before you deliver the card to them. Yeah, it's up to the customer how much security they want. If they want yeah. fingerprint and ID some sort of chip or, yeah. or if they want face recognition or okay. iris, you can have whatever they yeah. want to yeah. recognize. It's up to the customer yeah. which level of security they want. And I guess now we're in a mature stage of the biometric market where, yeah. where you can where you can mm. buy in systems to to do the face recognition, yes. the, the fingerprint and everything, Absolutely. whatever they want. So yeah. a very customized solution. Gabriel, Absolutely. sounds fascinating. I'm mm. sure it will continue to develop, hopefully here in the Middle East, but hopefully elsewhere as well, mm. which would be yes. very exciting. Thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you very much. Fascinating story. Thank okay. you.